What's up guys and welcome back to another video on this channel. In this one we're gonna take care of this really filthy engine bay on a Peugeot 207, which I'm 90% sure has never been cleaned before. Also guys, if you wanna see more footage of this car, for example when I fix these faded headlights or just rejuvenate this car in general and taking it back to its original state, leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing that. Big shout out to Purest Sweden for sponsoring this video. Links to all of the products that's been used in the video will be in the description. First thing I like to do before soaking anything is to just remove any loose dirt and debris. Now I'm actually gonna do the engine detail with the covers on because they actually cover up some of the more sensitive parts but I still want to get it relatively clean underneath there so I'm just removing everything now and without any running water I'm gonna clean everything underneath. I'm sealing off the alternator with a plastic bag as well as disconnecting the battery just for safety measures. I like to start with the underside of the hood and first of all I'm using a petroleum based greaser on the dry surface according to the instructions and on top of that I'm putting the organic degreaser to dissolve uh, that kind of filth and then I'm applying some foam on top of everything or rather uh, shampoo and water mixture uh, over everything for added lubricity and uh, also to neutralize the degreasers and then I'm just uh, scrubbing everything down and rinsing it off and I'm gonna use the same method for the engine bay itself as well. Now there are a lot of tight spaces in an engine bay so one of my biggest tips is to use a variety of detailing brushes. A wheel brush works really good to get into those hard to reach areas and also to just take your time and go over everything thoroughly. 
Uh, that means that you might need to reapply the cleaning agents maybe two or three times to avoid anything drying on the surface. Some places needed more attention, so I actually waited until the engine bay had dried. That way I could apply the petroleum-based degreaser on a dry surface, uh, which it's uh, intended to. And then I just uh, redid the entire procedure, and uh, then I was really happy with the results, as we're gonna see later on. Once again, the compressed air really comes in clutch, especially when it's time to dry the entire engine bay if you want to do it more quickly and efficiently and not let any standing water just dry in on the surface. Then it's time to dress and protect all of the surfaces and for the painted metal parts I'm using this uh, quick spray sealant uh, from Purist, which works uh, really good as a wet coat or just a quick detailer. And for the plastics, I'm using their T2 tire and uh, plastic dressing, which is a little bit more subtle plastic dressing that gives you that more natural sheen that I'm looking for. Uh, you could go ahead and use a more glossy dressing if uh, that's what you prefer, but uh, I prefer a bit more natural look. Some rust had started to form right here, and since this is only a detail, I'm just going ahead and cleaning off the area and covering it with some paint to make it uh, less eye-catching. And there we go, with the engine bay looking a lot better, there's just one more thing to do before we call it a day, and that is to give the car a quick oil service, because it's uh, definitely time for that. Following these procedures when doing an engine bay detail, I've never ever had any sort of problems when doing an engine bay detail. And that is it guys for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content of this car, for example when I fix the faded headlights and then just uh, rejuvenate the car and taking it back to its former glory, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment if you want to see more of that. So uh, until next time guys, take really good care, see you then, bye.